Okay, this is section 11.3, and today we're going to take our perimeter and area, and we're going to kind of extend it a little bit into similar figures and what would happen if we had those. So when we talk about similar figures, we always start talking about a scale factor, and a scale factor is just a ratio of two sides that go together. So we're going to talk about A and B, and you can write these like semicolons, you can do like that, but since we're going to need them in proportions, I'm just going to write them as fractions to start out. If I were able to add up all the sides, the ratio of those, the two perimeters, would actually be the same as the scale factor. So whatever the scale factor is, if I were able to add up all the sides and get the perimeter, the ratio of the perimeters would be the same thing. When you talk about ratio of areas, so now we know that areas have like units squared on them, what you do with the scale factor is square them. So square the scale factor. So I'm going to use these later on in the other problems, and I'm going to use F, SF for scale factor, RP for ratio of perimeters, and RA for ratio of areas as I do problems. So remember that scale factor and perimeters are the same. Ratio of areas, we're just going to square them. First example gives me a picture of two triangles, and it tells me they're similar. That's what that squiggle means. So I know that their sides go together. So first it says the ratio of red to blue. Unfortunately, I didn't copy yours in color. This is the red shape. This is the blue shape. So we want to do the ratio of red to blue of the perimeters. Well, I don't have all the sides to add up. So what I need to do instead is to actually use the scale factor. Since scale factor and ratio of perimeters are the same thing, if I find one, I have the other one. So my scale factor would just be the two sides that go together, so 8 to 12, and making sure I'm doing red to blue, small to big. And what I'm going to do is reduce this. We don't usually leave um, the fraction like that. We reduce it. So we're going to divide by 4 and get 2 thirds. That's my scale factor. That is also the ratio of perimeters, so I kind of knock out two birds with one stone. The next one says the ratio of the areas. And so in order to do that, all you do is you take your scale factor, or your ratio of perimeters, same thing, and you square it. So 2 squared and 3 squared. So 4 ninths would be my ratio of areas. Let's do a couple of word problems. This first one, I forgot to give you a little bit more information. I forgot to mark the picture. This is 10 feet, and this is 14 feet. Um, this is the, I'm trying to remember, I think this is the bedroom and this is the den. I forget how it goes in your book. I copied it out of there. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of talk about area. We're talking about surface area. We're talking about carpeting. And we're carpeting a bedroom and a den. And I'm just quick looking at my notes while I talk about this. I think we're looking for the carpet and the den. The den is the bigger room. Okay, so I did it right. Oh, nope, I didn't. Switch these around. Not that it truly matters, but then this way it will match the example in your book in case you go look at it. So you're wanting to do some new carpeting in both of these bedrooms or rooms. The floors of the two are similar, which means they're both rectangular, they're just different size. And the carpet for the bedroom costs 225 So we know that the carpet's going to cost us more for this room. We're just trying to figure out how much more, how much will that room cost us. And since we're talking about area, we're talking about square feet carpeting, which covers all of this space, we don't want to just talk about our scale factor. We need to push past scale factor and get up to ratio of areas. So we're going to start with scale factor, though since I don't have areas of either of these shapes to go off of. So I'm going to match up my two sides. I'll go big to small. And again, we want to reduce those. This is my scale factor right now. We'll reduce. We'll divide by 2 and get 7 over 5. So that's my scale factor. That's also my ratio of perimeters. They are the same thing. And so the next part we want to talk about is how do we get up to talking about areas. This problem has to do with area and they kind of said square foot. We're talking about carpeting, which covers the whole space. So I need to take my surf or my uh, scale factor, and I need to square both of them. So now I'm looking at 49 over 25. So now that I have my ratio of areas, I can talk about a number related to area, which is the money for the carpet. And this carpeting, or this particular dollar amount, is for the smaller room. So I want to make sure that the 225 goes with the smaller area. I'm going to put my x up there, and I'm going to cross multiply and divide. So 225 times 49, and then I'm going to divide by 25. So the cost for the uh, den to get new carpeting will be $441. We're going to do another one just like that. This one is talking about baking pans. So a large rectangular baking pan is 15 inches long and 10 inches wide. 
A smaller pan is similar, so same shape, different size. And this has an area of 96 inches squared. And they want me to find the width of the smaller pan. So I'm going to start off by talking about um, the fact that the two measures we have are on the same shape. So I can't match up length with length or width with width. And then over here they give me area, which I don't have an area over here to match it up with. And what we can do when you look at the picture, since I have length and width, I could find the area of this guy. So 15 times 10 is 150 inches squared. So now I've got two areas to work with. So I'm going to make a ratio of areas. And what we like to do with ratio of areas is simplify as much as possible. So if you take the fraction 96 over 116, or 150, and you start to reduce it, you divide by 6, you're going to come up with 16 over 25, which is your ratio of areas, just reduced. In order for you to move from ratio to areas down to scale factor, you would need to square root these. When we were up in the above problem, we had scale factor, and in order for us to get over to areas, we had to square. So if we're sitting with areas, in order to get back to scale factor, we would just have to square root. So my scale factor is 4 fifths, so I'm going small to big, so small to big, and then small to big, x to 10. Cross multiply and divide, and I find out that the width of this pan is 8 inches. Just a little tidbit for you to add. If you have scale factor, and you're trying to get to ratio of areas, you are going to square whatever you have. If you have ratio of areas, and you're trying to get to scale factor, that's where you're going to square root. So ratio of areas uses areas. Scale factor would be sides. So just kind of keep track of what you're using and make sure that you're using the right measure.